Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. It's going to be a video about uh, my iMac and how you manage your hard drive when you get the message that your hard drive is full. I got a message that my hard drive is full, my machine was running slow, and I had to figure out what to do. So I did some basic diagnostics, but then I went into the Genius Bar at the Mac Store, and this is how you uh, work through your problem. First thing you want to do is come over to your hard drive and right click it and get some info. It'll open up a screen and you come down here and you're going to see that your capacity is 249.72 and availability I had it down to 9 gigabytes. Now when you go down to 10 your operating system can't work efficiently and used I had I was using 241. So those were not good figures but that's how we kind of looked at the initial part and to figure out what was going on. Then we double clicked, came back to the icon, double clicked opened up the hard drive. This time I had to do one thing. I had to come over to view and show pick show view options uh, and make sure that I had two boxes checked and they weren't. One was calculate all sizes. I had to check that and calculate size and that allowed me to now come back in to this box and see the size of the folders that I had. So just make sure that you do that. You, you come down here to view and uh, it's, it's got them open so it says hide view options so it's hide them. Come down to view, show view options, it'll open them up and you'll see make sure that your two your size box and your calculate all sizes are checked. That allowed this data to appear here. This gave me the size of these folders. On the large folders, they didn't appear right away. It took time for it to calculate it. So you may have to wait three or four minutes for all of these numbers to show up. When we looked at it, we saw that my applications folder had seven gig. According to the Genius Desk, that was okay. That's about the, the right range for a machine that's been running for a couple of years and loading up with applications, but that's nothing unusual. My libraries folder also had 7 gig. That's okay. That's again nor within the normal parameters. My system folder had 4 gig. That's again within the normal parameters. The problem was under users and there we had 241 gig and that was the problem. Problem was uh, audio and video files that were very large and had to be cleaned out from both my account and an another user account. And I did that by transferring all the video and audio that we wanted to keep over to a backup drive, a two terabyte backup drive. Now, that was diagnosing the problem. And there were a couple of other utilities that were used <clears throat> to help us out and figure out uh, where things, uh, you know, how things were operating. So if we go into applications, we're gonna go down to the utilities folder and under application, you can do the same thing, open that up and then open up Activity Monitor. Now what Activity Monitor will do is open up a, a screen that will show you uh, what's going on <clears throat> in terms of disk usage and system memory and it shows it to you graphically. So for you visual learners like me, that's what it is. So uh, we selected disk usage and under disk, just like we saw in the very first uh, screen when we opened it up to check, we saw that uh, I had a blue area that was totally filling in. In other words, the space utilized was at 241 gig, and my free space was at 9 gig. Now you can see I've gone and cleaned up things dramatically here so that now I'm using 95 gig and I have 154 available. You want to try to keep at least uh, you know 50 percent uh, or 40 percent availability uh, on your drive at, at most of the time if you want to keep optimum speed. So anyway, uh, that's what that showed. System memory, I went down here and it showed me that I had one gigabyte of RAM and how it was being parsed out and used. And uh, the diagnosis there was maybe we should expand RAM. You can go up to two gigabyte, even up to four gig. So what I've done is ordered uh, a couple of gig, uh, two gigabyte chips that I'm going to put in. Now, if we come back up to the, about this Mac, he also did that. You opened up about this Mac and you expand for more information. And you're going to see here I have one gigabyte of, of, of RAM. You open that up. It's going to open up another screen. 
And here, you're going to get this screen here about your, 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 in this case, the iMac. It's going to show you all the hardware you have that you can uh, take a look at. It's going to show you all the networking software that's in there. It's also going to show you all sorts of other software that's in there, applications, et cetera, et cetera. So I came down here into memory. I just wanted to check that out. And I saw under memory that I have two slots. One's got a one gigabyte chip in it and the other one's empty. So when I get my two new chips, I'm going to put one two gigabyte chip into this slot and another two gigabyte chip into that slot and that'll speed up my, my machine dramatically. So that's how you diagnose what's going on with your iMac or your Mac, any Mac. And uh, you can come up here to the about, open up the screen, ex and click more information and you'll come up to this screen here and it will give you all the information you're going to need to know. In this case, if you're wondering about memory, you come down here, click memory. So that's one thing you do. The next thing you do is you can use activity monitor that will graphically depict your disk usage, your system memory, your disk activity, your networking activity, your CPU, gives you all sorts of information about what's going on with your machine. That's a great utility to use. Three, when you right click your icon for your hard drive, you will come to this screen here and it will make, make sure that you've gone to view and selected the, the, the show view options and then make sure that your, your size and, and your calculate all sizes are selected and it will give you the size of your files. And that's what you really want to do. And then after that, uh, initially you, when you get your info about your drive, it'll open up this screen and give you how, how it's being utilized. And that's it. So that's how you uh, diagnose what's going on. I hope this uh, video has been helpful. This is Claude Blanc at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.